Good evening everyone. Today is the first game of the World Cup Finals. We have Germany versus Austria uh, that made it to the final last time. Uh, last year's champion is going to defend his uh, title versus a newcomer for this year, the team of Austria. I mean, many people may say that they are almost the same, but we will see how this will go. Uh, tonight we have a one game only and it's gonna be Lucas playing Stark uh, Crossing and on the other side will be Sebastian playing Night Swatch Valerian Steel. So quick look at the Stark uh, Crossing list. It's running, Vyman is a restricted card, uh, no spikes but Weapons of the Door is a good addition for those builders that he's not going, not going to face but uh, that card could definitely solve that, this, uh, that problem, also political disaster. Other than that, at the past, the solo proved to be a beast if a plot aside from its stats. For all the cross increase, it helps in the burn matchups, it helps in a big strength matchups, and it's just amazing. Uh, at this time, we have standard opener at the gates, and then you win or you die, Duhelis is the choice of reset. And like in every start, we have a single copy of Hair, Hair to the Iron Throne. Uh, from events, we have 3 times superior claim, 3 times passing the blood gate. Passing the black gate three times I'm no one and off to go town. A single copy of for those icons where you need to fix a problem and a country to draw a card. Other than that, everything else is economy. And oops. and if we look at this Valerian steel, a whooping number of 20 attachments, and here again we have critical disaster. This time Morgulis is the result of choice. We have the prince who came too late. In many cases, this is going to be Yoren. Sorry about my phone. It notified me that we are wife. Uh, yep. So the prince who came too late is many of the cases going to be Yoren uh, as the restricted card of choice. Uh, attachment, something that stands out quickly. Um, Actually, nothing. Actually, it's a pretty standard uh, list for the Night's Watch. Uh, Green Dreams, not many targets for it, but aside, we have the uh, Season Woodsman, which came out of the restricted list for the World Cup, and then we have Fjorin. Uh, but other than that, pretty standard with fresh recruits. A uh, Hangerman, this is for. Uh, Oh, it's not even running the John Tron, it's running the Magali John. So the one that stands on attack uh, on attack all wild rings and on defense all night watch. Uh, again a pretty good copy. Uh, I mean all Johns are amazing. I like all of them. And we have Titan Scraster, etc. I mean a pretty standard list I would say. Uh, three times three finger hop. Quickly check uh, if the game is up, and there we have it. A lot of spectators early, but uh, yeah, both decks legal. And let's see, this will be a pretty fast matchup, I think, just because of the nature of the. Oops, uh, I not say uh, if player names, hide them. And I'll just uh, turn on the fox when I see who swear. Yeah, so as, as I was saying, I believe this will be a pretty fast uh, matchup. So we have Germany at the bottom. Um, Brawls. And get the Germany uh, okay. And on the top we have Austrian flag. Okay. And for so. Hey, now we know uh, who's who's where. I'm happy that spectators cannot uh, comment. Uh, both players are extremely experienced, so I don't think there will be any uh, rules calling or anything like that. But so back to the matchup. I think the matchup will go pretty fast. Uh, and it will be decided in like the first two plots, I think, uh, just because of the nature of uh, Star Crossing. Extremely fast, 
extremely scary, always scary, even after the new restrictive list. I still think that deck is insane, even with end considering that Skagos is free. So, oof, not wanna be there. Uh, and then uh, the Valyrian still needs a little bit of setup, but when that is go, uh, but when it gets going, it will steadily control the game, I believe so. So we'll see how the first few rounds go, and at that point, it's anyone's game. Extremely greedy setup from both players, uh, but Vyman and Sansa are one of main cards in the deck. Extremely strong by themselves. Uh, Sansa is a beast with a just a single scepter. And a I'm no one. I'm surprised he's willing to throw her away so early, but looks like he's just looking for that uh, insane start. Uh, Dominus go. Uh, so Austrian player will choose who will be first, and he decided himself to be first. Going to find that uh, gate of the moon. And it's, let's see what uh, Lucas is going to find. So we have Aria for uh, Sansa and a card draw for Vyman. Welcome everyone to the stream. I will try to cover most of the games. Currently there is nothing on Saturday. Saturday is the big uh, next, uh, one of the next next tournaments on Northeast um, Northeast Champion Circuit. Uh, so we will see if I'll be able to play there. I mean I plan to play but I don't know if I'll be able to uh, cover World Cup games. Let's hope. Uh, both teams don't schedule games then. Mm. Exchange of pleasantries. And the engine is on. Let's see how this will turn out to be. We'll see free economy out of nothing here with season Ultimate and the agenda. If you see some random howling, it's a some moron outside. So nothing I can do about it. So gain a gold from Susan Woodsman, probably gain a gold from the agenda and go white. Uh, the Nightwatch has to go really, really white to be able to stop. Uh, any of the shenanigans that oof, that uh, Stark is going to do here looks like a rough start for Germany, and that's a very explosive start for uh, the Nightwatch player. And taking Aria, not what you would like to see, unless there is now a passing the Black Gate into into out. Okay, we are the user, so no passing the black gate in hand. We could just buy that. Else, he would have come out for free. Although the nice watch player is playing hand judgment, so there isn't any other uh, house uh, new effect. So, Sansa. Septa. So it looks like this will be a slow turn, a slow first turn, but not impossible for the crossing.
let's see how it will go from here um, claim soak will probably be the reducer with uh, John I assume so he is going to do two challenges I don't expect any of the challenges to be opposed in any shape or form We have a military It so looks like uh, the Natural player will be looking to defend the Inter Challenge regardless Because it's going to be a Six, uh, eight strength intrigue, and John will be standing for to defend it, uh, or maybe not. So let's see. I'm curious if. Uh, Lucas will be tempted to defend the challenge, but no, he values all, all two of his challenges. And let's see, Daisy is discarded. And no more challenges. So there isn't a option for win by five. Currently for the power challenge, unless he sacrificed the intrigue and maybe that will, we will see that happening. So intrigue with scepter and then do intrigue and uh, power with both characters for that by 5 If there is a superior framing hand He is currently on the clock and he has to pick up the pace definitely But looks like he will try to win the intrigue challenge Which currently doesn't seem so to be winnable Power and now Yeah, but that will tie the dominance Oh no, I hope he's going to win dominance And he's going to do the intercharge match regardless And you see defense for 4 So he was switching here for the dominance uh, If uh, Sebastian defended with the John but I don't expect to see this kind of mistakes Or small slip ups in this case uh, At this stage Game is tied 2-2 two -two at the end of the first round Although the very hard start Going to see the power of hope So happy he is unrestricted Vyman sacrificed Scepter to draw a card This means he's going into the Harris To clear the board a little bit And we will see uh, Fall from favor uh, He unfortunately Here he has to be first again the uh, Sebastian has to be first, else the form for favor will really bite him. So, who do you think guys is favored here? In general, oh, he made him first. Interesting. So, I wouldn't have. Done that. Mm, looks like he misclicked, but um, at this stage, I don't think there is a way back. Mm. 
Yep. So they will proceed with the current uh, iteration. So we're gonna see John and three finger hop at the end of this tank on the board. And uh, we'll see. Yep. I mean, unfortunate misclick there, but at this stage. Oh, and. How come the spirit plane got discarded? Was it for reserve? Dominant and taxation. Oh, it was a dupe of uh, Aria. I see. The Bear Island Scout King's Road and Bear Island Scout Filing Alicine for the King's Road. Interesting, he didn't find another bear I want called first. But maybe he didn't uh, he, he doesn't have a copy of the same hand. And they are moving. Okay, so the board seems to have stabilized stabilized a little bit for the star player. Uh, but now Yoren is off the board, which means he can come again and steal something. Uh, currently, John is the only character who can take attachments. I mean, he can take all type of attachments to be... And catapult. Oof, that will be very tricky to handle. Fair boot for double catapult. And this basically hits everything aside from Wyman, and it will pinch the board even harder from here. So maybe sacrificing Scepter wasn't that great of an idea, but you, if you really want to do here so early, you had to. So I understand that. Duple go war everywhere. We know that the night watch is running to more bullies. Uh, nail in the coffin. A very stable start here. And this probably stop of Vimon from doing a, some type of challenge. Power one, yeah, but power could be the last challenge done with uh, Sansa, which she will be outside of the range of the catapult. But we're seeing a passive play here, which that just because the hill has to take a double military claim, a double military claim, then uh, one with the catapult and then everything else. I'm not surprised that this swarm went on uh, spare boot and not on John. Looks like he is planning to recycle it. Not here, gonna be opposed to it the same. There is one gold for a ambush. I'm not sure what which of the attachments that Nightwatch has access to is going to be good in this uh, the stuff is going to claim card of Wyman then John is going to win the internet as well and Sansa is barely unusable at this stage almost unusable considering that catapults from the board Mm 
and we have a I don't get discarded I'm surprised that the Iron Gate didn't get marshaled and we have the Armory on the board. Maybe he was planning to go aggressive but the Catapult ruined all his plans. And I don't see it ever uh, paying off to just wait here. I think I would have tried to go aggressive and sacrifice the Charter or two. I think you see defense on the power challenge. And for drawing more. We see Hano joining the game. Instead of the stream, let's see if he's on the stream quickly. No, he's not. Boo. So we have more goodies into at the gates. No surprise there. He is completely trying to suppress uh, Lucas. Because then he has dupes on his most valuable characters. You see King's Road. So I would expect to see here. Like, uh, he should be able to fold again. He drew quite some cards with uh, Vyman, although not entirely close to what uh, Hope did for the So, yep, Rob, Aria with the dupe again. So, the use of the armory is a little bit questionable. Uh, when did he use it? Uh, so, he did it for the dominance. Still, I don't think it was worth it. But, hey. Give him post fortification. I would have, uh, once he, once the King's Road came into play, I would have probably put that on the King's Road for double draw. Um, go on to the watch on the season movement for gold and gold. So a zero cost for plus two. Amazing. But yeah, I would have placed this on the King's Road with the agenda. And uh, gain a gold or gain a card or whatever, uh, and then redo it uh, here once more. I'm not sure why he's keeping the gold uh, because currently he cannot ambush the. Hmm. Do we have a water tensor? So, so, as I was saying, he, currently he cannot ambush. Uh, Think Ivan the catapult, and with if he did it on the King's Road, maybe he would have been able to. Just yeah, because it's a one more zero trigger.
Is get the catapult managed to be marshaled? So amazing. So this stops any type of challenges for another round. Although there isn't flame. So yeah. Uh, seems like correct not to kill here because you're losing the position on power. I don't defend superior claim. I would expect to see a superior claim here. Or not. And it's still either looking at the tag being uh, constantly oppressed. Is still leading in power. Uh, now our resets are out of the way, and uh, Lucas can uh, just build the board like crazy. Uh, Sebastian will catch up a little bit, but Yep, so the play really really made sense. As I mentioned, he didn't choose his faction, for any, uh, faction card for anything else. Is it the chart locations you control only? No, it's not. So, yeah. Is this another superior plane? Where did that one came from? We see it the powers into March. Oh. oh no, he did play superior plane, I just missed it. Oof, relentless. Um, interesting choice to march Eamon there. I would have tried to recycle the attachments again. And we will, we will not see any challenges on this spot currently just because of that this cut foot. We see one call on John and now the clock is on. Okay, passing the blood gate played by Lucas. Or discarded. Looks like it's not played. Ah, it was dupe for Aria. Right. Very unfortunate dupes for Aria. One superior claim and one passing the blood gate. Not something you would like to see. Builder at the wall. Restoring. That's an interesting one of uh, in the list, although it speeds the game as well. Okay, wait, you can drop. Okay, cut. So she'll be able to do a little bit of uh, a few challenges. Okay, free con. 
for the claim so okay it's funny that will be it now the interesting part is if if there is a drop of to go down in hand for recon to do a challenge uh, definitely we're gonna see the dupe given here for frame I'm not sure how rope is going to be in both challenges or cut is going to be in the in both challenges. This is going back to the premature new of the northern armory, I would say. Looks like he deliberated a little bit if he wants to play off to go down and defend with uh, oppose with cut for to stop the stand. But that definite uh, the star crossing is not a deck that want to be on defense. If you really want to finish the game pretty fast. And at this stage, I think uh, he missed his window. Opportunity there. Mm, to give a power challenge. Mm -hmm. I won't be surprised if we see a defense here. To defend the power, get renown. Although I'm pretty sure he's going to get an opposed power if he does it with up. Uh, yeah. So he did decide to get the defense renown. Unless there is a strong war now, but uh, that's still not enough. There isn't any explosive power gain in uh, the deck. And John is going to get his uh, second renown for the phase. Uh, so he did have off to go down. So we'll see a uh, post uh, challenge here, and maybe not. We see a hand judgment. So on the post. And another armor discarded at random. There isn't any card drop what here for uh, Dark Network doesn't need it at this stage uh, agenda and hopper more than enough. And we see in Dominus Affection for card draw for double card draw. And then hope is going to draw two more in the taxation. We see a pretty quick, uh, pretty quick selection for Sebastian. And we have Costco into weapons at the door.
So the question is now if uh, Lucas, uh, if Sebastian is going to save three gold for uh, the catapult, and I think he should. Once you see spare boot uh, resurrected, so if he did drill him, this could mean a double catapult. Edward, Duke Kathleen. Now this looks really scary. For better or worse, this is really explosive board. Uh, unfortunately, as we mentioned earlier, no sacrifice engine, and I don't think uh, Sebastian is going to do a military of any sort. Also, how is he at 11 gold? Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8. Nine. Eleven is general. Yep, eleven gold. Look at this. We're just with three locations. Oh my god. Root. Very very root. Disgusting. Although considering how many cards he drew, I'm not surprised to see the second theorem. It's the old forest hunter. Unfortunately, now cut stops uh, the shenanigans as well. Oh my god. Let me see cold hands flickering uh, prop. And then only one gold saved. So let's see where that will go. So as we said, if the game goes long, it's going to go to the night watch. Right, Emus? Uh, yeah, I don't think there is any type of recovery from here. Yeah, so first game goes to Austria. I don't know if Germany still has penalty. Uh, I have to ask, but if if they do still have their penalty, uh, it is two to one, uh, two to zero now. There are two games lead. Uh, the next game is tomorrow at same time. It's going to be Greyjoy versus Martel. So Austria Greyjoy versus Martel and Dex are wait what was it? Austria Greyjoy. So it's going to be uh, Greyjoy Prince, no surprise there, versus uh, the original German deck which is Martel Alliance Wolf and Stack. Yep. And as Sebastian says, extreme gebacked, gebac so extremely lucky, uh, but nothing. Yeah, so we'll see. Then thank you everyone for joining me, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Same time, another game from the final, so we'll see how that goes. Bye bye.